Hi, I'm Roy Spinnett, County Commissioner. I'm here with my friend Deontay Williams. Hey Deontay, did you know that Onslow County has an African American Heritage Trail that consists of 21 monuments all over Onslow County that show the achievements of African Americans in Onslow County? Man, I've lived here for 30 years and I never knew that, Royce. Hey, let's see if we can visit all 21 of them in three minutes or less. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Linda Richardson Memorial. Linda Richardson was instrumental in forming what is now known as the Business Diversity Council of the Jackson Alonzo Chamber of Commerce and the inception of the African American Heritage Trail. Georgetown High School was known for its excellence and was the only black high school in Onslow County. It was funded by the Trent River Oakley Grove Missionary Baptist Association in 1908. Sandy Run. In 1831, there was a law forbidding blacks from preaching or extorting in public. Regardless, a small congregation was formed under a tree near what is now Hargett Street in Jacksonville. Belgrade. The Belgrade Community Action Association provides a center for Onslow County children, teens, and the elderly to build a better community. Verona Loop National Cemetery was built for the African Americans whose bodies were initially buried on Camp Lejeune. St. Julia Church. St. Julia AME Zion Church was formed through the merging of two AME Zion congregations. The church has a history of pursuing free. Montford Point Marine Museum. The National Montford Point Marine Museum was established to preserve the legacy of the Montford Point Marines. The USO was formed in 1941. USO carried on integration policy, but some locations maintained separate facilities. Kellumtown. Kellumtown School was built in 1943 on one acre of land. The school served the African American residents of Kellumtown. Lillian Parker Willingham. Lillian Parker Willingham has the distinction of being the first African American woman to serve on the Onslow County School Board, as well as run for Onslow County Commission. The Voting Rights Task Force was created in 1989 to explore possible changes to the City of Jacksonville election process. The task force determined that the best method involved the utilization of award system. Tyrone Willingham. Lionel Tyrone Willingham had seven winning seasons and four bowl appearances while head coach at Stanford University. He left Stanford to become Notre Dame's first African American head football coach. In 1912, the first missionary Baptist church, the Belgrade Congregation, founded the church originally located in Hickory Hill and later relocated to its present location on the South Lawn. Onslow County Museum. The Onslow County Museum takes pride in researching and reporting African American stories. This is part of the museum's ongoing mission. The Garrison Chapel AME Church transformed a brush arbor meeting place in the late 1800s to the well-preserved early 20th century structure. The church has a long heritage of spiritual and community support. In 1889, Bloomingdale Free Will Baptist Church was established in a small one-room wooden building on Comfort Highway near Richlands. Edney Chapel. Built in 1879 by former slaves, Mr. George Washington, his wife, Mrs. Cecilia Ann White Petaway, Edney Chapel School was one of the original schools for African Americans in Onslow County. Woodson Elementary. In 1950, community schools were closed and the Carter G. Woodson Elementary School opened. The school was comprised of three buildings housing grades one through eight. Amex Beach. Amex Beach State Park was donated to the Black Teachers Association by Dr. William Sharp in 1950. It was used for a segregated beach resort until 1961. That same year, it was donated to the state of North Carolina for further development as a park. Little Zion African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. The Little Zion African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church was built in 1883. A hurricane destroyed that building in 1918, leading to the establishment of the second church. Ocean City. Wellington attorney and former mayor Edgar Yow purchased six miles of beachfront property on Topsail Island, which later became Ocean City Beach, a popular beach destination for the black community. That was a really a whirlwind tour, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you want more information about our African American Heritage Trail, you can go to uh, Onslow County website or on my Facebook page. It'll be on in all those places. So look forward to seeing you there.